a pleasure now, Gilbert, to introduce tonight's guest. Please yes. give it up for Tom Hickey. Yeah. Tom, thanks for joining us tonight, mate. Uh, congratulations on the way you've been playing so far this year, coming there from Queensland. But like last week's guest, you've had an interesting uh, career path into AFL football. And just tell us how, because it wasn't your first sport, was it? You're actually a, a state volleyball representative. Yeah, I actually got picked up through uh, playing volleyball. I was played rugby league, sort of lived and breathed rugby league on yeah. my juniors, um, and played school volleyball. And I was lucky enough to sort of get picked through state there. And up in Queensland, they have a, a program where they try and get guys who have sort of played pretty well in other sports and um, convert them to AFL. So I uh, tried out for the local uh, rep team, ended up making it, and then headed down to Morningside Footy Club. And so how old was you when you started playing footy? Uh, 18. Wow. Yeah. 18. Hey, Tom, look, thanks for coming on the show. It's always great to have a Saints man on the <laughs> show. Yeah. Um, actually, me, me, me and you got a little bit in common. You, you played with my QAFL side, Morningside, when yeah. I was playing Sider. up there. and. You played with a premiership there uh, in the seniors when you were an 18 year old and you won the premiership in both, both grades? Yeah, I was lucky enough. I went uh, two years of footy and two flags. So I picked the right team coming to Morningside. <laughs> and uh, and so sort of me, uh, Tommy Bell got picked up from Morningside, Peter Yagmore, Jackson Allen. So we've had a few guys sort of get drafted out of there. Gilly's picture up around the club, is it? Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> nah, but uh, you, you won't see my picture up there, I'll tell you now. <laughs> <laughs> no, and. Um, and you're living in um, you're living in more, uh, more heaven, and um, how you find the Seaford? Because it's a bit of a distance. You are actually starting to train in at Morabin, and you're also training at the old uh, Junction Oval as well, I believe. I reckon that's a great initiative by Coach Richo. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we had one session at uh, at Junction trying to get. <laughs> we, we want to be seen as a Bayside club, so we're trying to be all through the uh, all through the Bayside. But it's uh, it's not too bad. It, a lot of the boys live around that sort of Hampton Morabin way because. Sort of halfway to the city, halfway down to Seaford. Could have some money living in those areas, mate. You must be getting paid well. I uh, not so much, mate. I wish. <laughs> um, just just to touch on with Gil, what Gilly said, um, Alan Richardson. What, what's he brought to the club? Because he was at the Blues for a while, and he was our assistant coach. And uh, in my opinion, one of the best people person people people person that you can yeah. that you can have. Yeah, and he's a he's a fantastic coach. And I just want to get your opinion on him. Yeah, no, he's a ripper. Right from the get go, he sort of came in and yeah. he speaks his mind, and he'll tell you what he thinks of you straight away. So you know where you stand with Richo, and mm -hmm. it's uh, really there's plenty of clarity between him and the players. And sort of he goes gets to everyone on the list each week and tells them whether or not they're playing and yeah. what they need to work on. So he's got a uh, he's got leaders on board, and and they help they help drive that. So mm -hmm. it's been really good having uh, Richo on board. Good.